color brushes. The reason why I'm doing the full face using $1 brushes first before my full face using $1 makeup products is because I want you guys to see the reality of these brushes on how they work with daily products that I use. If I'm gonna be doing a full face using $1 makeup, and brushes. I didn't want to confuse any of you or confuse myself as to if the foundation was bad or it might have been the brush. Does that make any sense? So I didn't want to put that all together to be the first video because I didn't want to give you guys like a horrible first impression of either the makeup or the brushes not knowing exactly what is a problem. I got these $1 makeup brushes off Shop Miss A. This video is not sponsored and it has so many $1 products not just makeup. For my eyes, it was very difficult to actually find good blending brushes. So I went on wish.com and I was able to actually find these brushes. It has a variety of different crease brushes. The brushes from Shop Miss Day were just like big face brushes and for the eye brushes, they were all flat. So it was kind of hard to actually do a look with that. I don't really recommend Wish just because I feel like the shipping was a little bit too overpriced. I don't know. But yeah, you guys, I want you to know that you do not need high-end products out there. I mean, clearly I did my full face using $1 makeup brushes. If you guys want these little babies used in my $1 makeup tutorial, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. I would gladly do that for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be taking the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in the color Natural Beige. I don't pop this out till I'm like self tan. Right now, I have like the worst tan. My chest is all red right now. You probably can't see it because the lights are really washing everything out. Like even my face is a lot more uh, darker than usual. So I'm hoping this actually suits me right now because I've tried it on when I just have like my regular skin tone and it looks so orange on me. So um, let's start off with this AOA studio uh, it's still a little bit too dark for me I'm gonna go in with a flat kabuki so I do notice that the brush is a little bit flimsy it's not as dense as a kabuki brush from like Sigma but my skin is just burning I for sure need to like self tan now I'm gonna take my Becca aqua luminous concealer in the color fair and we're gonna pop this under the eyes to highlight so unfortunately I did not or I mean I Actually, maybe Shot May Say did have a sponge that was $1, but I didn't purchase any. So we're just gonna use a brush to blend out the concealer. I kinda wanna use, I'm sorry, I didn't even say the freaking number of the flat kabuki, but the number is F1. I actually want to use this AOA, AOA Studio. I'm just gonna not mention the brand anymore because I know I'm not even saying this right. I'm gonna take the E103 brush. It's like the small version of the kabuki, so this is the angled one. And this brush actually does feel pretty legit. It's a little sturdy. You know, it's so crazy because there are so many brands out there coming out with brushes and it makes me like question if these brushes are coming from the other brands, same manufacturer. These work really good and I'm sure I've tried brushes very similar to this. That blended out the concealer pretty well. Now I'm gonna take the F5. This is just the pointed kabuki and we're just gonna bake the under eyes I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. I'm gonna take a little bit of my airspun just because this is just my go-to and I always have to use it. Now I'm gonna take the F12 and we're just gonna set pretty much the rest of the fade. I do wish the powder brush was a little bigger. I feel like it's just a little too flat. I'm gonna use a five, five? <laughs> F14 brush. I actually have two angled brushes, so I'm kind of excited. I'm excited to use this contouring brush. It actually looks like it's gonna work, so we're gonna use the Bahama Mama by The Bomb. I'm gonna just snatch those cheeks a little bit. Ooh, yes. And the one thing that I actually really like about these brushes is they are super soft. It's crazy. I was just feeling one of my NARS brushes. Keep in mind, NARS brushes are very expensive, and I was so in shock 
comparing the two because they weren't nowhere near as soft as these and these are only one dollar like what oh my god okay i'm why I, there's not one video where i don't screw up my contour the only thing still uh that i'm noticing is the brushes as you can see when i just try to blend they're just too flimsy i wish i could just really go in and blend without the brush kind of just like Brushes are kind of like shoes, you know? You gotta break into them. I'm gonna use my other contouring angled F14 and we're gonna take this color from the Wet n Wild Contour Palette. This is a little bit more warm and I guess warm up those cheeks a little bit. I will update you guys if, you know, the brushes do fall apart when washing. One thing I've noticed with a lot of affordable brushes, when it comes to washing, they could shed or completely fall apart. So, if you could follow me on my Snapchat, if any of those tragic things happen to these brushes, I'll definitely update you guys on there. I'm taking this duo from ColourPop and I actually cannot find the name nowhere in this box. I hadn't used this, like literally I just washed it and that was it. But my brother's wife was using this the other day and I was like, wait, you actually like that? Because I don't know, it, I, it never intrigued me. And she told me she really likes the blush. So we're gonna try it out today. We're gonna use the F13. Ooh, this blush is bomb. I always saw it so orange that it kind of like scared me. Yeah, I for sure love this brush. You guys already know what's coming up. Highlighter. I'm so excited for this because one, I just love highlighter and two, this highlighter brush looks like it's going to work really great. This is the F19. The shape is so perfect. I am super excited to use it. We're going to take the Ofra highlighter in Blissful. Blissful is such a pretty highlighter. I haven't really used it a lot because it kind of looks a little dark in certain angles on my face. Sorry, now that I'm a little bit tan, I'm gonna take advantage. This is literally my favorite part of the video. I'm like, I've been waiting for this moment. <sighs> yes. <laughs> Everything about this moment, the highlighter, the brush, the brush is perfect. Literally the perfect highlighting brush. Now, if only I can get a highlighter for $1 like this. Highlight is on, it's blinding. It was a little bit difficult to find blending eye brushes. So I actually went on a different site, which was Wish. I ordered different things, thinking I would receive everything in one, like I did with my Shop Miss A products. With Wish, I guess there's like different sellers. I was receiving my makeup like in completely different weeks. But let me show you the brushes that I got from there. I guess there's like about three four blending brushes I could use from here. We got the E04 from AOA Studio. It's a round kabuki mini version, but I legit think this is great for like a transition color, so we're gonna use that. I'm just gonna take this from Wet n Wild and we're gonna pop this on the crease. Mm-hmm. This is perfect. This is legit a great blending brush. It's not dense whatsoever. This is going in my eye brushes container for sure. I'm gonna take this ColourPop palette. This is the collab with I Love Sarai. It looks like such a pretty palette that I actually have not used, so I'm really excited to use it in this video. This is how it looks. So I'm gonna take this brush, and this is the set that I got from Wish. The only thing that kind of sucks about this, none of the brushes have a name. I'm gonna take this brown. I'm always like, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take, and it's like, I don't know what else to say, you guys. I'm sorry. We're gonna pop this on the crease. It's not bad. It's for sure blending the eyeshadow, which I mean, that's what is most important, right? I really like the way it's blending out the eyes. It's not making it look patchy. Patchy? <laughs> it's not making it look patchy whatsoever. I mean, it's doing its thing. I'm impressed. By the way, I know this is not like a first impressions video or anything, but this palette has me impressed. Very, very impressed. Okay. We're gonna go back in with the E104 and just blend out a little bit. Oh my goodness. I really like this brush for this. If you are someone that wants to purchase a brush individually, I don't know if you'd be able to get it that way. I noticed I had to buy like sets when I was on the website. I noticed a lot of the single brushes were sold out. Now I'm taking this one. It's kind of like a flat, fluffy brush. We are gonna use this beautiful looking pink champagne. We're gonna apply this on the eyelid. 
good. <gasps> okay. And this is just a dry brush. This is very shocking. I want to try this out with my finger just because I know. <gasps> yes, I knew it. I actually really like this brush that we used on the crease. So I'm gonna take, <laughs> I'm gonna take. We are using this cranberry, a very dark, it's like a dark brown with a hint of cranberry in it. And we're gonna go in there. Holy crap, these are so pigmented. And I'm just so happy that these brushes are working so well just because I had such a hard time looking for like legit eye brushes. I want to highlight my inner corner, so we are going to use the Makeup Geek Telepathic Foiled Pigment. I want to use this tiny pointed fluffy brush. Another reason why I wish there was something on this brush is because I don't even know what brand this is from. I'm gonna take my Maybelline Gel Liner in Black is Black and we're gonna use this very tiny angled brush. I think the brush is great. It's a perfect size. I mean, the eyeliner is a little dry, but other than that, dang. So the eyeliner is done. It looks pretty snatched. I'm just gonna take my Maybelline The Push Up Drama Mascara to coat the lashes. I'm applying the Lily Galici lashes in the style of my Konos. I'm so mad because I was trying to take the glue off. I literally just pulled a whole chunk of lashes. I'm going to use this small pencil brush. This is the E124. I'm going to use this brown. Now I'm noticing this brush is very dense, so I don't know how it's going to do for actually blending out the lower lash line. Maybe just packing on color. I'm going to use this flat kind of fluffy brush. I think this is going to be a little better to blend out that lower lash line. I'm going to use the E115. This is a flat, just flat brush. I like to use brushes like this to really intensify the waterline. Literally, just focusing it underneath and it's going to really define the eye. We are finally done with the eyes. I'm so impressed, seriously, with all the brushes I've used so far. Now I'm just going to coat the bottom lashes and we're gonna move on to the brows. For my brows, we are using the E116. Taking my Benefit Brow Zings. I'm actually excited to use this. I have not used this yet. I've used their brow pencils. This is in the number six. My camera actually died, so midway when I was drawing in my brows, like the camera literally turned off on me. I think this brush is great. I had no issue with it and I will continue to use it. I really like the way it works. We are going to clean up the brows. I'm just gonna take my concealer and I'm gonna take the AOA E113 flat brush. This brush actually feels like really great quality. And look at my brows. We are pretty much done with the face. I'm so impressed. So now I'm gonna take this NARS liquid lipstick and this is in the color Warm Leatherette. I feel like this color is not working out for me. It looks oh, a little too bright, I think. We're gonna take Rock With You. It looks like a deeper purple. Oh yeah, this is like super dark. <gasps> I cannot believe I did this with $1 brushes. I am very impressed with these $1 brushes. I highly recommend them. You do not need expensive brushes to achieve any kind of look. I did a full glam and I'm very impressed. There was not a single brush in there that I thought was kind of shitty. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it was very helpful, do not forget to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. All that's gonna be down in the description box, as well as my vlog channel, if you guys wanna stay updated to what I do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.